currently collaborates with NASA and other international space programs. We're currently observing World Space Week and the South African National Space Agency is hard at work with innovations and collaborations to enhance space travels. Let's unpack this further with the Science Engagement Manager at the South African National Space Agency, Daniel Matsepola. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, for our viewers who probably didn't think that South Africa would have uh, a national space agency of its own. Uh, give us a sense of what exactly goes on at the South Africa National Space Agency uh, and the work that you all engage with every day. Good afternoon and thanks for the opportunity. So the South African National Space Agency is an agency of the South African government. It is reporting to the Ministry, Department of Science and Innovation, it is headquartered in Pretoria and was launched in December 2010 to implement the National Space Strategy. And so we have divisions in different provinces. Uh, Houghton province, where the headquarters is in Pretoria, it also has Santa Space Operations that tracks rockets and satellites going into outer space for a diversity of clients all over the world. Major space agencies are customers of that division. Then in the Western Cape, we have Hermanas. I'm currently in the Western Cape, where space science, this, we study the sun, the 150 million kilometer laboratory in space. And of course, Earth observation deals directly with applications of space as they relate to our agriculture, environment, human settlements, and everything involved with human social benefit. Mm. And, and what would you say since 2010, since it was incepted, some of uh, the developments have been around uh, space and the different collaborations we've had. Uh, you're saying that you're observing the sun there in the Western Cape, and I'm sure there's a lot of shifts that have happened uh, that have really changed the way, the way that communities live uh, and work. Uh, but through your collaborations over the years, what are some of the big developments you say have uh, taken place uh, in these, uh, these, uh, the space agenda uh, that you just described to us? South Africa's space heritage dates back to the very beginning of the space race between U United States and Russia. And you know Russia was the first to launch a first man-made satellite into outer space. So if you are to look contextually at the South African space history, you can segment it into two parts. The era before we were a space-faring nation and the era afterwards. And what is a space-faring nation? It's a nation that has its own space assets, a space program, and is progressively contributing to the global space development. And South Africa is a key player. 1999 was the year South Africa's first satellite was launched into outer space called SunSat, built by students and staff at the University of Stellenbosch. And next year in February, we celebrate 25 years as an African spacefaring nation in a continent increasingly getting involved in space and extracting value from space products and services and innovations developed elsewhere. So what we are seeing through these collaborations, and I'm currently in the Western Cape, we just conducted a teacher training in collaboration with the Department of Science and Innovation, which is the shareholder of SANSA, and the UK National Space Academy, because SANSA and the UK National Space Agency have an existing memorandum of understanding. And through that, it allows for these collaborations. I've traveled to the uh, United Kingdom twice in the last two years, learning how they are using space to inspire the nation so we can learn from the best and uh, uh, develop those uh, similar models here in Africa, contextualized for the African unique environment. Mm. Now, one of the ambitions of SANSA, Daniel, is to send Afronauts to the International Space Agency or out into space. It is an ambition that many think is probably years away, but one would assume that those conversations um, have started happening, particularly when you talk about the increasing collaborations uh, that are growing on the African continent. Indeed, it is one of the great challenges. You may remember the 
early 2000s when Mark Shuttleworth became the first African in space. I was one of the young people. I was just 26 years old. Today I'm 47. That I had a chance to speak to Mark while he was on board the International Space Station. Mm. That on its own was enough inspiration to inspire rural young men from South Africa's diverse rural and uh, townships. So, yes, indeed, taking a human into space is one of the great achievements since it was done in 1961 by Yuri Gagarin of Russia. And, you know, we call them astronauts in the U.S. They are called cosmonauts in Russia. Chinese call them taikonauts. And, hey, since we are in Africa, why not call them astronauts? And it is good to see that young people are beginning to embrace the idea that they can actually meaningfully participate in manned space flight as well as non-manned space flight. Yeah, no, very interesting times indeed as we observe uh, World uh, Space Week. Uh, thank you very much for those insights. That is uh, Daniel uh, Matopola from uh, the South African National Space Agency, or uh, SANSA. You've heard there that uh, the big ambition at the moment is to send Afronauts uh, to the International Space Station.